Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Corum with Call to Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. First off, I want to thank you guys. Our entry show back into doing these videos came with an absolute success. We got a ton of calls, sold a couple of properties. So thank you for watching the videos, guys. Glad to know you're still out there and still watching. We're going to keep this going all season long. Today, we're standing in front of 925 Bennett Lane. This home is located in central Call to Springs, right off of Uinta area. Now this home features two bedrooms, two baths, it needs a pretty good amount of work guys, but it also has two outbuildings on it and a slashed blowout price on it of only $64,000. Again, this is for somebody who wants to do their own rehabbing, maybe an investor or an owner occupant is extremely handy, but at $64,000, I don't think you can go wrong with this property. Come on inside, let's take a look, see what you think. So as we started in the Bennett property, you walk in what was clearly an addition. They built on their own little sunroom here. This is actually pretty nicely done. You got quality drywall. Um, throughout the house, we're gonna notice that one thing we don't have to worry about are the windows. These are nicer, newer vinyl windows. In most cases, hung pretty well. In some cases, you could probably do a little better than that. We walk into the Bennett property, and you can see here we walk into sort of a living room area. Now guys, this house is only 780 square feet, give or take. So it's not a big house by any means, but I think they use the space relatively well. You've got hardwood floors, which are definitely going to need some work right into the entryway here. And this would be your living room area, perhaps dining room as well. And then back this way, we're actually going to head this way first. You walk into the kitchen area, which has tile. The tile's definitely dated. It's got some cracks in it, so we'd want to replace that. However, the cabinets and countertops are actually in pretty good shape. So these are probably functional. We can leave these as is, just kind of dress up everything around them. Uh, good sized pantry space here. And then we walk over here to find the uh, washer and dryer room, uh, which is pretty common in a house built in 1942 like this one. You gotta keep in mind, they kept all the plumbing very simple. So typically you'll find the kitchen, which has a sink and everything, the bathrooms, and the laundry room all in sort of the general area because it's just easier to plumb it all together than to separate it out like you see on more modern properties. So again, the price is right, although it does need some work to update. The bedrooms are very long, so this is a very lengthwise, and you've got a lot of room in here. Uh, again, hardwood floors on the floor. Now, given the age, guys, it's not too surprising to find some degree of structural settlement, and this is no exception. Uh, you can feel the floors just moving just a little bit. I don't think that's dangerous by any means, just something that you may want to account for when you're doing your rehab budget, something we may need to add on a little bit of structural piers on this side of the property just to hoist that back up so it doesn't get worse. Some of the charm of these older homes are that the floors are sort of wavy in some cases because it, it shows the true age of the property. So, you know, for what it's worth, not something you have to fix, just something you might want to. And this is the first of two bathrooms. This bathroom's actually been remodeled recently. You got a nice tile shower surround, um, you know, pretty much good to go. Uh, tile up the walls, linoleum on the floors, newer vanity, newer light fixtures, newer toilets. So, you know, a little paint maybe, but other than that, this bathroom seems pretty much good to go. It's kind of surprising because everything else is so outdated. It looks like they're working on some projects, didn't quite make it past the bathroom, but did a good job on the bathroom. We continue back here to find another bedroom. A little smaller than what we would call the master bedroom, which would be the last one, but still a pretty decent size. Again, nice quality, vinyl windows. And this bedroom also features its own bathroom. Again, a little smaller than the other one, but it does have a bathtub, so if you're big on tubs, it's a nice feature. And in general, you know, it's in good shape. Not spectacular, but certainly not bad, and not something you can argue with at a price point of only $64,000. Now, the last guy on this property paid one hundred and forty-three dollars for this in 2006. I'll make the argument that he way overpaid for this amount of square footage. But what you're buying in this case is the neighborhood. The Uinta area is very popular, kind of a centralized location, and there is definitely a premium per square foot. Although I wouldn't give this thing $143,000 value, I would say that we could confidently resell this in good shape for around 110, maybe 115. So buying it for 64,000 where it's listed at today makes this a sweet deal. And when we get outside, we're gonna talk about what the payment on something like this is. It will absolutely blow you away. I mean, literally like living for free. Come on, I wanna show you the backyard and some of the outbuildings. All right, so we're out back at 925 Bennett. And um, we're, we have to walk quite a distance because this is actually a pretty good sized lot. I just want to show you 
Back up front here, the fence is falling down, but there's your parking area. Property does not have a garage, but it's got enough off-street parking there for comfortably two cars uh, sitting tandem. And then you walk into this massive backyard. Now, they started over here onto a deck project. Obviously, did not make it very far into the deck, but that's something that'll be really awesome when you do finish that off. And then you have the rest of this yard, which seems to go all the way back to that fence line way down there. Um, so pretty good sized lot, you know, especially given the neighborhood uh, where lot size comes at a premium off of Uinta. So you're definitely getting some extra value in the lot itself. This is the first outbuilding we're heading towards now. Um, looks like they did a pretty decent job on the structure itself. The ultimate goal here seemed to have been mother-in-law suite. So they didn't finish it, but they got a pretty good ways. And as you walk in here, you got a one bedroom, you know, very simple open room area here. Uh, they didn't finish the flooring, but that's the next thing you would add. You've got a closet that they framed in here. And um, then you walk up this direction to where they put some of the plumbing. Now, here's the kitchenette, which again, started but not finished. Wouldn't take much though to modernize this and get this thing done. They were really reaching when they put this hutch up here, so I probably removed that. Um, but, you know, flooring's decent, looks pretty good. And then finally, you've got the makings of the bathroom. So this is where the toilet should go. And then, you know, somewhere along the line, you can get the sink. And then they tiled this down here as if to imply that they were going to put a shower in. Uh, but, you know, that might be something you have to redesign the schematics on that. So, you know, how much of this is livable square footage? Well, not much yet. You know, but it won't take much. You've got the structure here. This definitely adds some value to the property. And if you want to take the time out and finish this thing up, you haven't bought one house, you've basically bought two. So that's a huge advantage if you want to do some of the work that this is going to take to finish this off. From here, we're going to check out the shed and we'll get you rolling. All right, so this is the uh, last outbuilding here. This is it's just a storage shed that they put on the Bennett property. And, uh, you know, pretty good size. Not sure what they were doing with the... Uh, wood burning stove back there but you know certainly could find some function for that but in general the purpose of this one would be more storage um it is kind of at an incline here it slants a little bit structurally it seems sound but again not something you want to convert to living space like the last outbuilding but rather just something that's kind of good to go um so with that that's the bennett property now you know lot size wise um Outbuilding wise, I definitely think this property has some value, but let's recap. We're standing at 925 Bennett Lane. It's a two bedroom, two bath with roughly 800 square feet that is listed right now. HUD has this thing slashed down to $64,000. Now for those of you number crunchers out there guys, that works out to a $340 a month payment plus taxes and insurance. You're still looking at under $500 a month to own this property. Yes, guys, it definitely needs some work, but if you're the type that can do that work, you're sitting on a retail value of somewhere between 110, maybe pushing to 120 on this property. We are literally buying this property for half off. That makes a great investment for those of you who are looking for a fix and flip, or just somebody who wants to do a buy and hold, do some very basic work to this thing, should be able to rent it out no problem. As always, you gotta act quickly, particularly when they're this cheap, okay? So give me a call, the number's at the bottom of the screen, 719-649-2500. If you listen to the radio, I'm on the Colorado Springs Real Estate Investors Show each and every Saturday morning at 11.30 on KRDO 105.5, Check us out on the show. Love to hear what you guys' thoughts are. But the best place to get the most accurate information about Colorado Spring Foreclosures is the website. That's www.coloradospringsforeclosuredeals.com. Again, www.coloradospringsforeclosuredeals.com. There you can register online and get instant updates of every foreclosure property right as it hits the market. Properties like this one don't last long, guys. So if you want to see this one or any of the properties on the site, don't waste time. Don't think about it. Pick up the phone and give me a call. We're going to find you the best deal. That's what we do here. With that, this is Donnie Corm with CallToSpringForClosureDeals.com. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one.